We have got, Justin, another surprise. And hopefully it's not as crappy as the chess set. Better not be. So stay tuned. As he finds out what this is. I'd like to know what it is. To it. Giant box. It's a giant box. It tastes like pretty much the entire table. Ready? Mm -hmm. Backgammon. A proper backgammon set. Let's go ahead and take that out so we can take this giant monster off the table. This is a backgammon set, and this is a proper backgammon set like I had growing up. It is 18 inch, it's the largest backgammon set that I could find. It looks exactly like the one that I grew up with, but we'll try and do half and half, there we go. So you can see half the box. It looks like a briefcase. Yeah, but I think this is even bigger than the one I had. I, I, might have, I thought I had an 18 inch backgammon set, I think I had a 14 inch. But initially, it's really well made, I think. Hmm. The clasps are good. They're strong, they're not uneven or breaking like the chess set. And we have backgammon. Hmm. I wanted to get a an actual backgammon set in and of itself instead of like a three-in-one game. Because this is what I grew up with. You know, the, si the slots on the sides for your pieces, you can move them around. The uh, little shaker, the multicolored die. He's never played backgammon. So if he's going to play the game, we might as well play the actual game that I played growing up, which is this version here. So you have your pieces, would look, which would fit in there. You know, you fit in that, you'd be sitting on that side. Cup roller, silica gel, because that's important. The die with the extra pieces inside, which is pretty cool. And you get your brown and white cream colored die. And these are just extras, which I think is really cool. They give you uh, backgammon tips and strategies and backgammon rules. So I'll we'll read through those because I remember how to play, but I want to make sure that I'm not playing incorrectly. I'll definitely need to read those. Right. I have never learned how to play backgammon. But this is. This was much more expensive than the chess set. It definitely feels like a good quality backgammon. Yeah, and I wanted to get something, you know, high quality for this. None of the edges are coming up. And the arrows are stitched. Yeah, all the all the arrow lines are stitched in. None of them look to be coming up. I would hope not. The little cups are good quality, they're heavy, they're inlaid on the inside with a kind of like felt like this. So not the exact same one, obviously, because the one I had was made in the 80s, a different design, but very close, very, very close to what I grew up playing. So, surprise. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, this has been the unboxing of the surprise backgammon set that we got for Justin. Oh no, Thank you very much. So, I'm going to go find a home for this, and thank you for watching. I'm Fi. And I'm Justin. And you have a good night, or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Cheers. Goodbye. We've owned the backgammon set for about a month now, and I think it's safe to say that we are very pleased.
Definitely. We've played many, many, many backgammon games since we've owned it. It is really good quality. The board itself is great quality. The stitching is tight. The pieces are nice. The little cup is nice. The dice are nice. Everything about this is nice. I would definitely recommend this backgammon set to anyone interested in buying one. You get what you pay for. So spend money to get quality, I guess. Yes. And it also looks very professional. Yeah, it looks really nice. This looks almost identical to the one I had growing up. So, yeah, a little nostalgia, but also very well made. And I would, as I said, I would definitely recommend it. So if you're questioning buying this, I would say go for it. It's very, very nice. Right. Thanks. Bye.